Hello YouTube and we're back for another one and today we're going to be taking a look at the DJI Mavic Mini and also we're going to be going over three accessories that I think you should get as soon as you purchase the Mavic Mini to go with it. We're going to show you all the items that come in the box when you do purchase it. Now I did get this used off of Amazon for 300 but it was technically still brand new. Um, all it was was opened and returned and then they had to sell it as used even though it was never actually used. It was still in the box, original stickers, everything. There's a box, nothing special about that. Right. Now we're going to go over the drone first of what you get and all the specs about the drone and then we'll go over the accessories and I'll give you a reason why I think each one is a useful accessory to have. Alright, first we're going to go over the controller. Alright. Now as you notice, you have our two joysticks, your power button, and your return to home button. That's it. Controller is very basic. You have your four LED lights to tell you the built-in batteries and what percentage it's at. You have your joysticks in here. You just pop them out and screw them in like that. And the reason why they made them like this was because the controllers, when they're in the in your carrying case, so it doesn't smash the or break your joysticks off of your controller. So it's just kind of a safety feature. Some of the cases do have designs where they put a little indentation for the joystick to go up into. So you don't have to do that every time. Now these antennas on here are functioning antennas. They're not like the cheap drones where they're fake and they don't work. And in here is where you put your phone. Now you can put up to a, actually put up into a seven inch tablet into this thing. You have to extend the arms all the way out. And then when you put in the tablet, the corners of the tablet will go through here and it holds it very snugly. But that is pretty much it. It's 5.8 gigahertz. Right. Nothing too spectacular about that. And then this is where you would plug in your data cable from here to your phone. All right, so what you get in the, with your basic Mavic Mini starter kit, it's not the fly more combo. You just get this, a couple little pamphlets in here. Give you some quick safety rolls, flying tips. Of course, you get some manuals. Anybody who's not familiar with drones, I would highly recommend that you do read these before you go out to fly. If you're an experienced pilot, you probably really don't need to look at them unless you just want to take a glance at them. Kind of a do and don'ts list there. And another little manual. Nothing special. All right, so what you get in, what else you get in the kit is you get a screwdriver for your propellers. You get three data cables. So this, these can service any type of phone you have, whether it be micro USB to lightning cable for iPhone, the one I use. And then you have micro to micro USB. And then you have micro to USB-C. So they provide you with all the different cables and you can buy these separately online if say one of these breaks or do sell them. Amazon has quite a few of them. I'll put a link in the description down below for some of those cables. All right, and then you get one little box with it. And then when you open this box, you get an extra set of joysticks. Again, you can purchase these online if you lose them. That's not a huge deal if you lose them. You get an extra set of propellers and some extra screws. And okay, that's the screwdriver that goes with this. This is to another one, I thought that was it. But there's a screwdriver. I'm not gonna open any of that stuff because I want it to stay nice and sealed. And now we're going to take a look at the drone itself. Now you'll notice that the drone sits super low 
to the ground. And then that's gonna come in later when I talk about one of the accessories I have. You got your four brushless motors. Down here, four LED lights for your battery. It'll give you your battery level, so this is full. All right, here you have your gimbal cover. You wanna make sure you take this off every time before flight. That should be on your pre-flight checklist before you even turn your drone on. Make sure you take that off. Now right here, you do have a three axis gimbal 2.7K camera. And this thing is extremely stable in the air. I mean, it almost looks like if you were flying a camera in a Hollywood set when you're flying, how smooth it is. And it's a 12 megapixel camera. Now just remember, this thing is 249 grams. And the reason that is, is because anything under 250, you don't have to register with the FAA. But unfortunately, with me adding these accessories onto it, I will register it, which it's already registered. Um, and then you have to make sure you put your registration number on the back of your drone, which I have done, but I'm not going to show. So once you add anything, whether it be a skin or just one little accessory to this thing, it's going to put it over the 250 gram mark. But it's not a huge deal registering it. It's a $5 registration. It covers as many drones as you have. And like I said, you just make sure you carry the little registration card that they print out for you and make sure you put your little registration number on the back. And yeah, it's completely legal. It's not a, not a difficult task at all. And we're going to show you, and we'll go ahead and show you how this thing folds up. Now you're going to put your legs down like that and your legs in like this. Now I do have a skin coming and I also have a case coming which I will be doing a review on both of those once they arrive. And just like that, perfect for traveling. Couldn't ask for a better drone. I don't, from what I've researched and I've looked at many of drones in this same price point and category and I can't find anything that compares. There might be somebody out there that knows that one drone that I don't know of that might be a match to this thing, but this is just the best little drone you could ever buy. And I'm usually not a huge fan of Chinese companies, but I will give it to DGI, DJI. They have taken pride and have taken a lot of time and effort into making these drones what they are, so I can't really dog them. So I, f I would still recommend if anybody want out there wants to purchase one, I would highly recommend it. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of American drone companies at the moment. There's a couple of them, but it's super hard to get drones from them because a lot of them are building them to order and there's just not a lot available. If you go on Amazon, you can't find any, uh, almost any of them unless they're really old models that are four or five years old. Um, so other than that, it's a very good drone. I've had a blast flying it. I have already flown it. And it does back here have a memory card slot and a micro USB to charge. Now you only do get one battery with the non-fly combo. The fly more combo. But the batteries aren't super expensive. I plan on picking at least one more up. Nothing extreme because you get 30 minutes of flight time. I don't need three hours of flight time. I don't need 15 batteries. I think two would suffice just fine. Okay, so now we're going to go over the accessories for the Mavic Mini that I think that are kind of important. And each one will kind of help your Mavic Mini to be a little better, a little bit more separated from the rest of them. Okay, so the first one is going to be the little sunshade. Now... I've kind of seen mixed reviews on whether it's really good at blocking the sun, but I really think this is a good option for when you're flying as far as protection wise of your gimbal if you accidentally hit something. Because you can see when you're flying, you don't fly with your normal gimbal cover on, so your lens is pretty much just sticking out and exposed. So if you were to smack a tree, hit a branch, anything like that, this thing's going to take the full impact of that. So what you want to want to do is you're going to take this little guy right here 
and you're gonna clip him up in there like that. And then you really don't even have to put your gimbal cover back on when you're storing it. You can just, you know, if you're going on a long trip, maybe you would, you know, just to give it that extra protection because it does hold your gimbal still. But see right there, gives it a nice kind of fills in that little missing gap. It looks more complete. Just aesthetically, it looks better on the drone. And it's supposed to block out the shade, kind of give your, your camera a little bit more of a not so in the sun type feel. But other than that, it I like it just for, I think it's gonna add a little bit more protection to your drone in the long run. Let's open this back up. Let me take a look at the other accessories that will be going on here. Let me go ahead and get this out the way. All right, and the next accessory is going to be landing gear extensions. There's a few different um, companies. PGY makes some, and Sun Sunny Fire, the ones I got, make them. And this is pretty much how they're going to come in the box. And all this stuff is made super light, super easy to put on. Everything looks like it's made for the. It was made by the factory for the drone. Let's get that out of here. All right. So these are going to be your front landing gear. And these you're just going to pop on just like this. And what this is going to do is this is going to get your drone up off the ground. Because D DJI had to cut a lot of corners. Well, not cut corners, but they had to sacrifice a few things here and there in order to save some weight and money. Okay, so the next item, we'll put right here, we'll fold those down, and then it keeps your drone up off the ground. So it gives your drone a couple inches more clearance. So when you land, you don't have to worry about your gimbal going into the ground or hitting any dirt, dust, anything like that. Okay, so we have another item here, and then this one is going to be for your controller. Now, these are Yagi range extenders for your controller. And what this will do is give you a better, make sure your video feed and make sure your connection to your drone isn't easily lost. Especially when you're flying in like an urban environment, it would definitely help with keeping your range. You just put them on like that, easy, real easy, you just slide them on. And then once you get outside, you get your antennas positioned in the correct. And then that's it, nothing special. Really super easy to do, and these will extend your range by I've seen as much as half or even almost double your range. But, I mean, I'm not trying to go five miles away from my house with my drone, but because, one, it's illegal, and two, all I'm trying to do is just keep the most solid video and connection to my drone as possible at all times, whether it's 100 yards from me or, you know, 20,000 yards from me, whatever it is. I just want to have that best connection as possible for my video.